Good afternoon, everyone. Eric here, Northwest Bus Sales. Appreciate your time checking us out. Look at this blue bus we got right here. What we got, this is a 1999 MCI 102 EL3. 102 EL3, 102 inches wide. The E is the model. L means 45 feet, three. Well, it means three axle. So there you go, EL3. Or these were also called Renaissance as well. So check this out. These were kind of like the precursor to the J. They look very similar to a J4500. So let's cruise inside, give it a quick look. 102 EL3, it's a 1999. This is a 50, uh, 56 passenger. Uh, yeah, 56 passenger MCI coach. All right, let's cruise inside here. Dual entry grab bars as you come in. I love the spiral entry. You guys that are familiar with the with the MCIs and the J, the J has this similar entry as well. So, all right, behind the camera today we got Mike. Mike's doing the doing a heck of a job on the camera work. Let's cruise in here. Let's get a look at the get a look at the cockpit. So, tilt telescoping wheel. See that? Oop, there we go. Tilt telescoping wheel. Horn, street horn. <laughs> A big air horn, there we go. So climate controls right over here. Driver and passenger heat and AC climate controls. You got your standard switch panel over here for entry door. And then you got the leveling switches here. Now the E models, man, these things got a very complex uh, air system on them. These things do self leveling and it's not uncommon. You might even see it throughout the video a little bit that uh, this, this thing will just kind of be doing its thing, leveling up and down and side to side and all that. So cool features there. Uh, AM FM stereo here also with uh, passenger video system as well <clears throat> and I and we have that on we'll get a look at those monitors high idle control over here ignition switch check out the miles give them a close-up on the miles there Mikey 516 and I have I have verified that as well I plugged into the ECM engine computer on this as well and that jives so half a million miles on a 99 I'll tell you what, that is child's play for a Detroit. Uh, Allison B500, B500R no less. See the uh, retarder switch right here? You got a six speed retarder switch. I've personally driven this bus a few times. Retarder works great. Look at the power. See that power shades, Mike? Look at that. Power shades there for the driver. Also one up top there. See that top view window? That lets in a lot more light for the passengers. And that's kind of the, that's kind of the, what. You know, if you don't know a lot about motor coaches and everything, you can always tell an E from a J because the E's always got this uh, this horizontal window that goes up top. So remember that. You, that's how you can always tell an E from the J. Driver's seat upholstery, good condition here as well. I'll tell you what, this thing looks like it's been recently uh, reupholstered as well. So yeah, looks good. Looks good. I'm not seeing any rips or tears. Not even, well, maybe a some moderate sun fading, but uh, also I didn't point out the windows, Mikey. Windshields looking really good. Oh, I do see one minor rock chip right here. Other than that, yeah, check that out. Looking pretty good. Mm, cruise control here on the driver's steering wheel as well. All right, so let's check out the passenger area. Uh, 56 passengers, uh, seat upholstery looking pretty good. You got aisle and outside armrests on the passenger seats, reclining passenger seats with footrests also. You can see these down here. Footrests, even got little map pockets. Headrests, oh, check it, grab bars here too. Grab bars on the back there. So these are national seats. National seating in these. Man, I'll tell you what, Mike, the upholstery is looking pretty good in this, man. I'm not seeing any rips, tears. I'm not even seeing any sun fading on this. Looking tip top. Yeah, I would imagine these have, well, I don't know. Don't hold me to that. I was going to say they might have been redone, but considering the miles, looking pretty good. The floor feels real good as you walk down the aisleway here. You can always tell, you know, how the floor is feeling and everything. If there's any kind of dry rot in the floor, stuff like that as you walk down, because I've been in a lot of coaches. You'll feel some, you'll feel some soft areas, but I'm not feeling that in here. All right. You can see all the monitors are on. Come on back here, Mikey. Big tour style windows that are tinted. 
as well. What do we got there? It looks like something stuck to the window out there, but anyways, uh, yeah, give them a look at the monitors there. You can see all of those are on. I have a nice, uh, very informative instructional video on there on how to use uh, shop lifts. So it's very, very, uh, <laughs> very informative. Restroom back here. Restroom in the back. No sink, flush toilet. How about it? Vanity mirror? Oh, look, my big brother's always watching. We got a big brother cam. Oh, no. Trash receptacle, 56 passengers, 54. I've been lying this whole time. It's 54. Oh, goodness sakes. Yep. All the, all the passenger glasses in good condition as well. Here, check these out. Enclosed overhead parcel racks. These E's and the J's, they always, man, this always reminds me of an aircraft in here. Yeah. Enclosed overhead parcel racks all the way through. Underneath here, you've got reading lights as well. Perfect. Perfect. I think you're going to be pleased with this. So this is, this is a little bit of an older coach. 500,000 on a Detroit Series 60, but it's looking good. Let's cruise around outside and give it a look what do you think mike oh look at this man oh dude here's the uh entertainment system up here look pa mike we've got an eight disc changer oh look at this vhs <laughs> yeah dvd player here vhs you can play your your favorite old school disney movies on there all right let's walk around it outside looking pretty good so there are, this bus does have its uh, its share of infirmities, and we're going to point that out as we cruise around out here. So I love the blue. I'm, I'm digging the blue. This is kind of like a, kind of like a Dodger blue. Yeah, Dodger blue. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> All right, give them a look at this front tire. Good tread here on the, on the Firestone FS400. I'm going to say that's probably about 60, 65%. Yeah, kind of pan around underneath there too. Maybe you can see a little bit of the front suspension there. And you can even give them a good shot over here, Mike. Look through here. You can kind of see the front end, what we got going on there. Air tanks, air bags. Look at that. Nice. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to open up some of these luggage compartments before I do that. But I also, this is, this is some of the stuff I was talking about. All down the passenger side here, you can see some body damage. Very good. Let me open these up here. Tons of storage underneath here. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Pass through under floor storage. The rails here, the lower rails looking good. I'm not seeing any damage on those. That's kind of a common area for coaches. Oh, it looks like we might have a little action on the other side there, but we'll point that out, Mikey, when we get around it. So stainless steel frame down here. Yeah. Floor, solid. You can see the plywood down here. Looks and feels solid. I'm not seeing any corrosion, rust, anything like that. Uh, speaking of rust, this bus has been from what I know about it, this is the second time we've had this bus. Recently had a great customer trade this in, and uh, they've ran it for about five years in the uh, Portland area down in Oregon, but it originally came from the uh, Puget Sound area here in Seattle. Came from a local tour and charter company up here. So right in here, master switch right through here. Look down here. We've got some more action going down there. And then also up here, Mikey, on the lower part of these uh, luggage compartment doors, you see some body damage. We did, uh, it looks like somebody kind of did some, put some, put some paint on there. We got a little bit of Dodger blue and a little bit of Ford blue down here. But you know, when you're, when you're going like 65, you can't really tell. So it'll look good from there. Master switch in there. Check out the drive tires here again, Firestone. Oh my goodness, these are Bridgestones, pardon me. Bridgestones on the drives and the tag here. Tire tread, it's decent. 
I'd probably say 40, 45% on that. Give them a visual up in here, you can see all the rear end. Drive tires in decent shape. A lot of meat left on the tag axle here as well. Look at that. I'll tell you what, this thing's got more airbags than, well, than any other coach that I'm aware of. So. Air tanks, airbags, as I mentioned. Also, point this out, you can look down here too. We got some more action going down here. Somebody got in a tangle with some doggone juniper bush or something, or <laughs> maybe a hydrant. I don't know. Look here, a little storage every little little storage right here. This panel, see this square panel? All these wing nuts going around. You can actually open that up, and you can access the side of the engine. All right, we're gonna pop the lid on this. Check out the mill. Look here, uh, AC compressor here. This is the lever to open up the lid jump post right here positive negative jump post dump valve for the restroom all right also I want you to notice notice the paint a little different here yeah Dodger blue Ford blue all right check out the mill look at this I'll tell you what you can't go wrong with a with a Detroit diesel series 60 12 7 Pretty clean back there, wouldn't you say, Mike? Oh, look at it. Oh yeah, as I previously mentioned, this thing's married to an Allison B500R. Series 60, 12, seven, man. Woo! Look at that, LED lights up top. Uh, the pit tube's banged up a little bit down there, but eh, whatever. Looking good. So the driver's side looks way better than the passenger side. A little bit of damage there down there on that panel there for the radiator door, but uh, looking good. I love the blacked out windows with the dark blue. You can see all the courtesy lights going off inside there. All right, let's get a load of the tires back here. Ton of tread ton of tread on this uh, driver's side tag axle. Same amount of tread for the Bridgestones here in the driver's side drive tires as well. Yeah, the more I cruise around this bus, I don't think rust is gonna be an issue on this. Not at all, I'm not seeing anything but some minor surface rust, which is expected for a coach of this vintage. Behind this door, AC condenser and fans. Oh goodness, that one's locked. There we go, give them a shot underneath. All right, this is the, this is the, what I mentioned when we were looking at the other side thing, you can see some action right here. Somebody got into something there, a little curb shot right there. So, oh, look at that, man. They even got some card tables folded up in there. Look at that. Huh. That's circa 1999. Look at that. Those babies are probably stock. Down here, you see a little bit of paint peeling along the bottom of that. Look here. Oh, yeah. So like I said, it's got, it's got some infirmities on the exterior. All in all, great coach though. I've, I've driven it a few times. Very pleased with the power. Runs and drives strong. 500,000 on 12.7, man. Mm. Forget about it. FS400 here on the front. Look at that. A lot of tread. 65%. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. You can really see in here. Check this out. Get them a visual down, down in here. Look at that. Airbag, air tank right there. You can see the front suspension. There ain't a lick of rust on this, mic. Oh, yeah. Right inside here, J-Box. Look here. See how clean that is? There's the J-Box. There's these infamous gold bricks we all hear about. 
those right there, well, they're worth their weight in gold. Look at that. Look at that steering gearbox. Holy cow. Well, that's a big boy there. Reminds me of an old steer box off, a, off of a 70 F-250 my brother had. High boy. Remember those? Man, those were awesome trucks, Mike. All right, glass is good, as I mentioned, all the way through here. Looking pretty good for this 99 Renaissance. Yep. And I love the fact that it's not white. Every, all the coaches, it seems like almost all of them are, are, are white. But, man, this one's looking good. So, the uh, yeah, as I mentioned, windshields are good. I really appreciate you guys checking us out. And uh, I'll do you a quick recap what we got here again. 1999 MCI EL3. 100, uh, it, pardon me, it's called a 102 EL3. 102 means it's 102 inches wide. The E is the model. L means 45 feet. 3 means 3 axle. Renaissance. I appreciate your time checking us out. Give us a look online, nwbus.com. Please call with any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks. Yeah.